Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with an extension on our sweet jet that we made in Tinkercad. When you click it once after signing in, you can simply hit Tinker This, and you are back in your project. If by any chance you did not do the first lesson, I will put a link up at the corner so you find it. And my friends, without any further ado, let's get cracking. Alrighty, friends, so the first thing I want to show you is how I made the sweet little jet engine back here in the back, and I'll show you how I did the flames. Let's do the jet engine first. It is simply a cone, and then I took that cone and I duplicated it. Once again, you can click duplicate or you can do control D, and then I used the control up arrow to raise that cone up a couple clicks. I clicked the inside cone and I made it what's called a hole. And then when you take those two pieces and group them, notice it says two shapes. Check it out. You just cut out that jet engine. I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees so you can see that better. And you can see I just stuck that in the shape. I'm going to delete that little fella. And let me show you where I found the awesome flames even though they're really not flames what i did was i went to basic shapes and selected all and then down at the bottom of this page there is a little arrow that you can click to skip across and we need to skip all the way out to 16 or 17. it is 17 and it is called the rock mountain this is a complex shape so it can slow down your computer but it also lets you do cool things like if you stretch it longer and then I'm going to hold down shift again so it squeezes everything at the same time. It can start to look like the fire that I put behind my jet engine. I'm going to pick a color that's more flame-like. And I'm going to hold shift again and squish that down so it fits in the jet engine. Use the arrow keys to move it where I want. I could also use the align trick and get it where it'll look most like flames. If you do the cool fit view to selection, you can zoom in and see how they mix. Since I've got the red and the orange, uh, it can be a really cool effect. Just remember these are complex and they do start slowing down your computer a little bit. So this may be the last thing you do as you build it. Remember I can do control lift or I can use the cone. And now my flames look a little bit even cooler because I have mixed a little bit of red and orange. The next thing I want to show you really quick is how we can drop a cockpit in here so the pilot has somewhere to sit. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the basic shapes and I'm going to bring out a cylinder. And I'll bring out the cylinder hole because that's what I'm going to make uh, it out of. I'm going to stretch it so that it's a little bit longer. I'm going to rotate and look at it from the front. And I want to make sure that it's in the middle. And I'm going to show you another sweet technique. I'm going to click on this body and I'm going to lock it in place so that it can't move anymore. Now when I select that hole and I hold down shift and select the body again, there's still two shapes. But this time when I do the center, I'm going to scroll out so I can see it. It moves it the way I want. Still not looking perfect, so I'm going to do it one more time. I'm going to click on the hole, and then I'm going to click on that body. Let's do a line one more time, and now I've finally got the dot where I want so that it looks like it's going to be the cockpit for my pilot. It's a little bit longer, so I'm going to shrink it down. And then I'm going to check the height. It was quite tall. So I'm going to just stick it in as far as I want. I think that's going to be pretty neat. And then I don't want to get rid of my windshield, so I'm going to hide it. Now we need to take our fuselage and unlock it, because we wouldn't have been able to mess with it a minute ago. And if we click the center and that hole and we group them, check it out. You've got a place for your pilot to sit. Let's bring back view all and check out how much cooler that looks. Let's create a chair for our pilot super quick. Uh, bring out a box. Do control D to duplicate that box. Take the second box and make it a little bit skinnier and a little bit shorter and turn it into a hole. 
take the two pieces. So notice I grabbed just the two shapes and we want to center them this way and we want to move them to the top and we want to move them to the front. Now the one thing I forgot was I needed to make it a little bit smaller so I'm going to click on just the little one and I'm going to use that back handle to move it forward a little bit. When we take those two pieces and we hit that magic group button, boom, you've got a seat for your pilot. You can hold down shift and if you shrink it from the top down, you can get it to the size that you think would look best inside the compartment. And then here is some magic trickeration for you. We know that this needs to be close to this bubble or canopy. So let's hit shift and let's do a line and let's align it first we'll go left edge and then we'll go center and then we'll go top and then I'm gonna hit middle as well and then here comes the cool part let's click on that shape and zoom to its location click on the canopy and hide it and see this flat space down here that is where we want our seat so what we're gonna do is hit W for the work plane or cl click the work plane click on that bottom space so with our work plane in place click on your shape notice you can see it's selected and hit the letter D to drop it to that spot zoom out a little bit and check it out you've got a neat seat for your pilot if you want two seats you can do control D and once again use those arrow keys to move them back and forward so that you've got room for your pilots in your jet let's do show all and check out how much cooler that is you could add a stick you can add all kinds of controls this just opens up the cool possibilities of what you can add speaking of things we add let's add a pilot real quick click on your canopy and get rid of it choose the work plane again with the letter W or the work plane button whichever you prefer and we're gonna drop a pilot on this seat if you go to characters and move down through the list, look at that. Right there is Astrobot and you can drop him in your jet. Now notice he is big as can be. So what I'm doing is I'm bringing him in. I'm going to rotate him so that he's aimed the way I want. Notice I'm staying close to his middle so it's easier to find those 90 degrees. And then I'm going to hold down shift and squish his head down until he fits in the jet and use the sweet fit view to selection so I can check out where he's at. Needs to be a different color. I'm going to make him a light gray. Use the arrow keys to move him where I want. I'm going to do control D to give him a partner. Drop him in place to give him another color. You can add eyes and all kinds of fun stuff. I'm gonna zoom out and boom, you have got an awesome jet with some cool things and a ton of sweet skills. Friends, I hope you had a ton of fun building this sweet jet and even more important, I hope that you found skills that you can use to make yours way more cool than mine. I'm just trying to give you the skills so that you can start making awesome stuff and learn about airplanes in the process. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you've got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.